foam is really interesting because it's an engineering material that we see every day. So everything that you touch, everything that you see contains certain portion of foams into it. And a lot of research are being poured into this area and it is really interesting to engineer new materials, new microstructures that could be used in very, very diverse applications. A foam is a material with gaseous void in it. So every day you can see foams ranging from your shaving cream, which is a foam, to meringue, which you eat, uh, as well as your sofa that you sit on. Uh, you can find a lot of foams even in your plastic cups as well. So your polystyrene cups are actually made of polymer foams as well. So currently, many thermosetting foams are made in a big block and then you shave it into the shape that you want. Our process starts from liquid where you beat air into a very viscous liquid to create a foam, something like a meringue, where you can shape it into any shape that you want. For example, a gingerbread man or even a duck. So we don't need machining, we don't need uh, any post-processing, we just need a mold. We pour our meringue into this thing, we set it and you can take it out. This is your final shape, a truly waste-free manufacturing process for high-performance thermosetting foams. So what we do is we are making thermosetting foams, so epoxy-based foam, whereby we mix uh, two liquids together. We beat air into a very viscous system, uh, we pour it into the shape that you want and we let it set. So ultimately, we produce materials that are really waste-free. Currently, my research group is working on improving the performance of uh, high-performance thermosetting foams. Currently, uh, high-performance aerospace-grade foams, they have a temperature limitation. Beyond 180 degrees Celsius, they will start to melt. Our thermosetting foams could be thermally stable up to about 250 degrees Celsius, and we can make it without any waste. So our current approach is to develop uh, and modify the microstructures of these polymer foams to create even stronger, even lighter foams so that our planes could become uh, greener to fly. For example, a little tiny piece like this can actually withstand the impact of a hammer. My group is now working on improving the mechanical performance of these foams. As these foams are made from a liquid to solid process, there's no waste being generated, so we are looking to uh, develop foams with microstructures that would uh, allow us to tailor the compression properties, the shear properties of these foams. With stronger foams, we can create lighter materials, uh, lighter weight uh, transportations, and therefore greener for the environment. These foams are also made out of uh, bio-based resin as well, so ultimately the goal is to create a truly high-performance, truly sustainable future.